Hello everyone. Um, I wanted to just go through and explain to you how to use the um, assessment tool. Um, so once you have access to your SDS account, you will find your uh, tool here. So what you can do is I'm going to start by creating an assessment. So what you'll need to do is create a templated assessment for each art, Mac and wrap. So let's start with Mac. What you'll do is you'll come and click here and click create a new survey. You can call it manual handling assessment, manual handling assessment, uh, the year. So you might want to do it for, uh, we're going to do it from July. 22 December 2020. So then within this area here, you'll come to the setup wizard. This will enable you to personalize the um, information that you put into the tool. So you've got the example organization and your organizational name. What you would like to see the report as when it comes out. So the MAC test example organization, but you can, you can reword it to whatever you feel would be applicable. We ask you then to consider the demographics. So this will be how you can split the data um, at a later point and run individualized reports for each site. So you may call it site, locations, regions, or offices. Um, but for just for these purposes, I'm gonna call it site. And let's just say you have 10. This is there when you're going to be able to put the different site names. So we're going to put, um, So continue to list the um, sites that you will be using the tool in. Um, they could be any name you want. I'm just going to put location names really because this makes it easier. But you've got the option to access different areas. Brilliant. And so once you've completed all of the sites here, um, You can continue and you can split the data again by different departments, team, teams, sections or areas. For this example, I'm just going to put two. I'm going to do manufacturing and warehouse. And then you can also put the names of the assessors. So you might have seven different assessors that wishing to complete the survey or six or five, we've got one more. And then you click build. So what this has done is it's created a assessment for you to then send out two individuals via a link. So it'll just take a couple of seconds to create this assessment, um, depending on your internet connection, um, it doesn't take for too long. And when it's created, it will appear in this section here in the MSD section. So here you go, manual handling assessment, July 2020 to December 2020. So you can click on build and you can see the assessment and how it looks through paper form. Um, this section here will be more applicable when you come to complete it, but it makes sense there. Um, and so what you come, is the, come to is the collect phase. And here what you can do is you can take a date to take the link live or alternatively just click start into viewing. And what that will do is this will take this link here live. So this will be the link that you will send out to the assessors. So every time they want to complete a survey, they can click on this link. They can also download an application to their phone. And as long as you give them login to this application, um, they can then complete any assessment on their mobile phone without any in internet connection. Um, so say they needed to go to a, a factory where the internet connection was really poor. Um, they can complete 20 assessments. And then when they are next back up 
in an internet connection area, they will all upload together. So that's something I will explain in a follow up video. You can always launch a preview and see what an individual will, will see when they come to complete the assessment. So this is what an assessor will see. Um, you can skip the introduction, but it's always good to have just in case there are some assessors that come to complete the um, assessment and are not aware or haven't done it in a while. It explains the structure of the MAC tool, but this will vary depending on the assessment you pick. So if you picked RAP, it would go through RAP, the same with ART. It does explain here when MAC is not appropriate. For example, if it is a push and pulling task, RAP would be the most appropriate. If it is a people handling task, HOP6. Um, if it's an upper limb disorder, then ART tool. So you've got some explanations here. And then you've got how to complete the assessment using the different colour coding. Then you have the option to put in the assessor. So this will be what the assessor completes. And he will then explain the purpose of the activity. Location, um, doc. individuals so you can come back and you can actually have a chat with these individuals if you need to and what items are being handled so these are boxes So all of this information here will allow you then to look back at this assessment and see an overarching picture and say if there was something that wasn't completed or needed to be followed up, you know that the team of individuals who are involved, when it took place, bits and pieces like this. Then if it's in a high risk for MSDs, you can put why you think that's applicable. And if there are any significant factors, tight deadlines, lack of control over working area, you can include these here as well. Then it will go through reasons why you may need to do a full risk assessment and if you do click any of these then uh, it would be recommended that you complete a full risk assessment. But if you have not completed any of these, um, click the next arrow to start. And so here it asks you to select the type of assessment you wish to complete. Is it a lift, is it a carry or is it a team? For this example we're going to go team because there's two involved. And so it will take you through the load, to, load of weight. This is something that you might um, re recognize through um, the assessment done through PDF, um, but you can have a look at the different team members and the weight that is being handled. How they are handling the item. So in this case, it's actually quite a small item. Where are the lift zones? The task, how are they, are they twisting? Are they working straight on? Are they struggling? You can observe and see this very quickly. And are there any postural constraints? At present, no, but you can identify that as well. And what's the grip on the load like? The boxes, so reasonable grip. You can look at the floor surface and then do an assessment here just to make sure that that's all fine and, and, and adequate. And you can also look at the distance. Are there any obstacles? And how is the communication between the teammates? Because obviously this is very important as well. So throughout this, you can see that you've completed the risk assessment and you've got some numerical scores. Now this is an additional section. Here, what you can now put in and type in is some control measures to potentially eliminate certain pieces. So is there any way you can eliminate the manual handling task? Well, that's normally going to be a no, but it's like putting in a mechanical aid or, or something along those lines. 
Can you reduce the load weight? No. Um, can you look at the different lift zones? So this could be where you could potentially uh, implement a dolly system. So there's lots of different things that you can potentially look through. We haven't put any control measures in. And so then here you'll put your email address in to receive a copy of the report as the assessor. But this will also be stored on the system. But if you want to receive a copy of this report right now, you just need to click and put your details in. And so that is how an individual would complete an assessment going forward.